Thousands of people have gathered in the Turkish cap capital to mourn the victims from the weekend bombings. Those two suicide bombing blasts at a peace rally in Ankara killed at least 95 people and injured hundreds. Demonstrators carried posters of the victims and chanted anti-government slogans. It's still unclear who is responsible for the bombings. But Turkey's Prime Minister says Kurdish rebels and Islamic State militants were most likely behind the attack. Australian aid worker Sadet Ozdemir was on her way to the peace rally in Ankara when the bombs exploded. She joins us now. Sadet, thanks so much. Understandably, very distressing and shocking day for you. Um, where were you? What were you doing? You were on your way. Um, we came with uh, uh, five busloads from Istanbul to Ankara to attend the rally. Um, uh, you know, so I came with a group of doctors, um, you know, sort of from Istanbul. We um, arrived at the scene where, you know, sort of you've probably seen it from the TV and where it happened at about 8.20 a.m. Um, in the morning. And as we arrived, because we've been on the road since one o'clock in the morning, I separated from my Sydney friend, um, who is a doctor in Sydney, um, had to go and do something. And then I've asked her to give me a call and just to tell me exactly where they were, you know, sort of um, gathering. Um, and I left, um, and on my way back again, I was in the cab and she rang and she said exactly the location, and she's even sent me a, a location thing on the mobile. So as I was going there, and I could see it, we, I think we were only half a K or one K away, um, and I could see that there was, you know, sort of this big bang, and what it it was just so surreal. It was like I was in some horror movie caught up in some scene mm. where people were running and, and, and my friend rang me up and said, whatever you are, just stay there, don't come in. A bomb just went off and I lost contact with her. So the cab driver just dropped me off and he took off um, and I was just, you know, sort of stranded there. And all I could see was lots of police um, going in. When we arrived there, there was hardly anyone around. Um, and all these ambulances came and people were carrying each other. And, and um, mm. you know, it's still, I will never be the same person again. It was... Um, it's, I've never seen anything like it in my whole life, not even in movies. What's, the, what's the, what's the mood people. like in the city there now? 24 hours on. Um, the mood is somewhat somber. We wake, you know, sort of people um, took vigil in front of all the hospitals. We went to the hospitals and where people, you know, sort of today, this late afternoon, they were still on, you know, sort of calling out for, we've got a body here, 18 year old, um, you know, sort of is there anyone who knows can come and identify? Um, people were queuing up for blood people wanting answers. There were people coming from interstate because all these people arrived from interstate looking for their children and, um, you know, sort of their parents. And it was just chaotic. Cha you know, there's no words can describe this. It was like, you know, I don't know. I'm still shocked by it. I feel, you know, sort of I haven't um, recovered um, properly from it. You know, sort of every time I think about it, I just have this shutter. Look, Sade, um, it, it yeah, is so I've seen things that no most, one should ever see. Yeah, mm -hmm. look, just the, the most harrowing thing to go through. It's I hope you can Natalie. start talking to someone because it sounds like you are you are in shock and it's a, just an awful thing for anyone to, to yeah, see and experience. Absolutely. Thanks so much, yeah. and um, hope you can get home yeah, soon. Keep well. Yeah. Ahead on Sunday.